First converts. Waraka evidently referred to the prophecy in Deuteronomy. When the news reached Zed, Raziladala Anhu, the Prophet Wasallam's freed slave, now about 30 years of age, and his cousin Ali, Raziladala Anhu, about 11, they both declared their faith in him. Abu Bakr, Raziladala Anhu, friend of his childhood, was out of town. As he returned, he began to hear of this new experience which the Prophet Wasallam had had. He was told that his friend had gone mad and had begun to say that angels brought him messages from God. Abu Bakr anhu trusted the Prophet Wasallam completely. He did not doubt for a minute that the Prophet Wasallam must be right. He had known him to be both sane and sincere. He knocked at the Prophet Wasallam's door and on admission into his company asked him what had happened. The Prophet Wasallam, fearing lest Abu Bakr anhu should misunderstand, began a long explanation. Abu Bakr anhu stopped the Prophet Wasallam from doing so and insisted that all he wanted to know was whether an angel had really descended upon him from God and had given him a message. The Prophet wanted to explain again, but Abu Bakr said he wanted to hear no explanation. He wanted only an answer to the question whether he had had a message from God. The Prophet said, Yes, and Abu Bakr at once declared his faith. Having declared his faith, he said, argument would have detracted from the value of his faith. He had known the Prophet long and intimately. He could not doubt him, and he wanted no argument to be convinced of his truth. This small group of the faithful then were the first believers of Islam, a woman full of fears, an eleven-year-old boy, a freed slave, living among strangers, a young friend, and the Prophet himself. This was the party which made the silent resolve to spread the light of God all over the world. When the people had their leaders heard of this, they laughed and declared that these men had gone mad. There was nothing to fear and nothing to worry about. But as time went on, the truth began to dawn, and as the Prophet Isaiah percept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, began to descend upon the Prophet Wasallam.